You guys see the abs? <laughs> you see the abs? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Real quick, have you subscribed yet? Have you hit that thumbs up button? What are you waiting for? Let's do it! Hi guys, I'm Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and as you can tell from the title of the video, I have officially released 40 pounds. Psh, yay, confetti! Oh my goodness. You guys, I am so excited and there are a couple things that I would like to go over today so I did take a few notes and I have my notebook so that I can be quick and respectful of your time. So yeah, as I mentioned, I have currently released 40 pounds on this 100 pound weight loss journey and if this is your first time like clicking on one of my videos watching my channel then the number may impress you however the time frame may not so if this is one of those like 40 pounds in two months videos that you're looking for this is not it however if you would like some real life weight loss inspiration then i would encourage you to stay but I don't want you to be disappointed in the time frame. And by that, what I mean is that I started this, this, I say this because I have started and stopped so many weight loss journeys before, oh my gosh. But when I started this journey on May 24th of 2021, I knew like, this is it. Like, do or die, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna stay committed to the journey and committed to myself. So I started this journey on May 24th, 2021. I able to release 20 pounds quite easily as a matter of fact there's a video on my channel I'll link it here where I lost 20 pounds in 60 days so I started this journey at 260 pounds and then I lost 20 pounds so I got down to 240 pounds in like 60 days and if you guys want to know I was doing bright line eating at the time modified but bright line eating and that's how I was able to quickly I would call it quickly, release 20 pounds. For the time that I released those 20 pounds, it took me another eight to nine weeks, continuing with Brightline Eating, to lose another 10 pounds. There is a video on my channel where I'm like, ah, it was like an official 30 pound weight loss on this journey. I'll link that video here. So that was incredible. That was like October of the same year. Now, where it gets tricky is that it has taken me nearly 11 months to lose the next 10 pounds. Yes, I'm not even kidding you guys. But like, yes, but I just wanna say, I hope that the 11 month mark, like I hope that doesn't discourage you. And remember, we're all different. Just because it took me that long, it does not mean that it would take you that long. You may be, listen, you may be one of these. but. If anything, don't allow that to discourage you. If anything, just allow it to encourage you because what if I had given up, you know? Like what if I had said, forget this, 11 months, I'm not getting to where I wanna be, like, and I had just threw in a towel. Like that would have been horrible. I would have never made it here. And that's what I've done so many times before. I've just given up and I've never made it to this point. So first, let's just go ahead and talk about this week's weigh-in. So you guys know, last week I weighed in at 220.4 pounds. And I was so excited about that. That was my lowest weight here on this weight loss journey. I was just beyond myself excited and filled with so many emotions. And this week on Sunday, yesterday, it's Monday today. And this week, I am happy to show you guys here. I weighed in at 218.6 pounds. What? That is so exciting to me. That's a total of 1.6 pounds loss, which currently puts me at a total of 41.4 pounds on this weight loss journey. <laughs> Go Felicia! So I am really happy and excited about that and let's talk about what happened on last week. You guys know I like to share my steps as well as you guys know I've recently started intermittent fasting. I don't know if this is week four or five for me. I'm sorry, I should have looked it up first. But on Sunday I got in 2,401 steps and 20 hours of fasting. Monday, 11,003 steps and 27 hours of fasting. Tuesday, 16,976 steps and 18 hours of fasting. Wednesday, 1,516 steps, 16 hours of fasting. You guys can definitely tell like the longer work days in here. <laughs> and then Thursday, 3,140 steps and 16 hours of fasting. Friday, 16,591 steps and 27 hours of fasting. And then Saturday, 
16,935 steps and 21 hours of fasting. So I got in a total of 68,562 steps and my goal is usually 70,000 steps for the week. Now, I'm pretty sure I got those 70,000, but they just weren't tracked because I don't wear my watch all the time. Um, so not bad, that was not a bad week. Um, I will add that on, I don't remember if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, with intermittent fasting, I did feel more hungry. I think it was like the Tuesday. So I actually left, usually like when I open my eating window, it's for maybe like anywhere between like one and four hours, sometimes six. But like on that day, I literally gave myself like a 12 hour eating window just because I felt like more hungry. And I told you guys before that with this journey with me doing intermittent fasting, like I still haven't gotten to the point to where I'm ready to read and learn all the research behind it. It's coming, I promise. And I feel that at that point, I'll be able to teach you guys a lot more. But because I know that I'm the type of person that is like, I overanalyze everything. So I just wanted to jump in, get myself some results, and then I'll go back and read all the data. So in saying that, I've shared with you guys that when I get hungry, I eat, you know? And for me, intermittent fasting is not just about the weight loss, although I'm really happy that I'm seeing some great results from it. But I'm also noticing, I'll share with you guys, um, one thing that I had said before, let me move the camera. One, one thing I had said before was that um, after my weight loss journey, if I feel the need to get a Tommy Tuck, that I was definitely gonna do that. But what I'm noticing is like, as I'm losing weight, like you guys, if you go back on the channel, you'll see where I talk about like my apron and how this girl was like really hanging over. But I'm noticing that my skin is also like retracting a little bit. And I'm not saying it's gonna be perfect by the time I'm done, but intermittent fasting is something that I'm committed to. And if it saves me money so I don't have to get a tummy tuck, I'm here for it. But yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys, um, those are my results. One thing that I have learned on this journey is that true healing takes time. So even though it took me 11 months to lose 10 more pounds, the transformation is real. For me, this transformation is not just physical. Like, this has been a mental, emotional, physical, spiritual transition for me, a transformation. And I am just so excited about that. But you guys, don't give up on yourself. If you're not seeing the scale move, if you're not seeing the results that you want, don't just focus on the scale, focus on the person that you're becoming during this journey because I promise you that it's so worth it. But oh, I almost forgot, quick body shots, let's do it. week eight weigh-in results um thank you guys so much for supporting me on this journey i appreciate all of you for being here here on youtube instagram facebook i love you guys so much i appreciate you thank you for all of your support thank you for all of your sweet messages oh my gosh you guys are so kind and for those of you that have not subscribed i know sometimes like for myself when i'm watching a youtuber sometimes i have to watch a few videos to see like if i really want to follow this person but I hope by now that I've convinced you that I'm here to stay, you know, and I'm willing to share my journey with you guys. Oh, this is, this is me. Like what you see is what you get. So I would love it if you would subscribe and spend some time with us here on the channel and share your journeys below. I'm getting to know and learn like so many of you. I'm really enjoying that. But yeah, so that's all I have for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.